This is the wireless bridge model CPE220. Open the box. This is the user manual. We can see the user manual has details on how to set the device with images to help us to understand. These are the wireless bridges, we got a pair units. These are the PO adapters, we got a pair. These are two brackets, it help for mount on the building. And we got two CAT5 network cables. Push down the clip and take the cover out from the bridge main device. Plug the cable connector to the bridge's LAN port. Plug the other end to PO port of the PO adapter. Plug the PO adapter to power source. The green LED light turn on. We can see the LED indicator displays 6. Connect another wireless bridge to the PO adapter such as the first one. You can see the display is flashing. Move the AB switch of the right bridge to B. Now, the left bridge works as master mode, and the right bridge works as slave mode. Wait a while it will paired automatically, the both bridge display 9 on the indicator. Press the button to adjust the slave bridge's channel to 1, set the device works in channel 1, the indicator will flash as 1. Press the button to adjust the master bridge's channel to 1 as well, both device will flash as 1 for a while, then display 1, now both devices are paired. Let's adjust the master and slave bridge's channel to 2, you can see the indicators are flashing and the status light only power status light on, the pair status lights turn off. Wait few seconds, the device are paired, the indicators display too, and the pair status lights turn on, now both devices are paired well. Plug the internet network connector to the LAN port of the bridge, the slave LAN port connects to the network port of the computer. We can see the LAN status light is flashing, now, the data is transferring, we can go to test the network speed. Come on, close this one. Okay, I will click here, run the speed test. So right now, A is talking to B without any problem. Uh, it doesn't give all the way up to 100 megabytes per second, 
but at least the setup process is simple. You just plug it in, connect what I just did, you get internet in a B building, uh, you know, less than 10, 10 minutes and, and you, you're good to go, right? Now, um, again, I wanted to show it to you is, all right, so the server location is in the San Francisco Bay Area. All right, I'm here in Hawaii, so I'm about 3,000 miles away from Hawaii to San Francisco. So this speed right here is not accurate. I should have run a test here based on Hawaii location. Uh, that probably go up to about 80 or 90 megabytes download, or maybe, um, you know, 90 megabytes upload. But because I'm going to San Francisco, um, the internet speed is obviously reduced by a lot. Install the cover to the bridge's main device. You need to install the master bridge near to internet source, and install the slave bridge to another building. Make both devices face to face for best performance. How to configure the bridge? Connect the bridge to the PO adapter, and move the switch set to slave or master mode. Another LAN port connect to the computer, you can see the LAN status light flashing. Now, you can configure the device by the IP address. Please refer the user manual for details.